Brooklyn bank robbery suspect busted after Chinese food breakfast ill is homeless ex-con. Ah, New York City, the big orgy. It's refreshing to know that at least one of you barbarians took time out of your busy sex party schedule to commit a more boots on the ground traditional crime that doesn't involve wiping a booger on a subway passenger. Only in New York will you find someone with a stomach strong enough to eat Chinese food in the morning. Only in New York will you find a restaurant open early enough to serve it to him. An accused Brooklyn bank robber who was captured holding stolen cash when he stopped for a Chinese food breakfast on the Lower East Side is a 72-year-old homeless ex-con released from prison over the summer. New York Police Department officials said Saturday, damn, he just got out. He didn't even give time for his bunk to get cold. Joseph John Luis, who was let out on parole, faces robbery, grand larceny, and menacing charges stemming from the holdup of a TD bank in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Shortly after 9 a.m. Friday, cops said police arrested him an hour later when a tracker hidden in the stolen cash led them to the new Kim Twong restaurant on Christie Street near Hester Street. Well, how's that for a round trip? I guess jail really is home for some people. He just popped out to get some Chinese food, which, by the way, should have turned his guts to shrapnel later on in the day just a putrefying pureed problem i hope they put plastic down in a police cruiser when they was taking them to central bookings jean louis wearing a stained gray shirt and blue pants had just finished eating an order of shrimp fried rice cops said the things that you eat after a long night of drinking not quite breakfast food i was thinking maybe egg foo young or an egg roll or a vegetable roll jean louis is accused of walking into the bank on fourth ave near 39th street telling a teller he had a gun and demanding money. Cop said, if I wouldn't have seen a gun, I would have went to lunch on his silly ass. He left the bank with about $500, they said. No weapon was ever displayed. The robber ran down 4th Avenue towards 36th Street and the nearest train station. Cop said, cops activated the tracker and realized it had surfaced near Sarah D. Roosevelt Park near Grand and Christie Streets. This is clearly a New York article written specifically for New Yorkers. The officers zeroed in after getting a clear indication that the signal was coming out of a Vietnamese Chinese restaurant. This would be a perfect Snickers commercial. If you're hungry, grab a Snickers. Don't stop at a Vietnamese Chinese restaurant. If you're hungry, grab a Snickers because you're not yourself when you're robbing banks. Cops said they found the pilfered cash on Jean louis when he was taken into custody down the block from the restaurant just a full belly thinking life's grand you got the wrong dude man that's my money Jean louis said according to cops as he was taken away in handcuffs that's my social security that makes a lot more sense to me than it should the ex-con added i got a 50 million dollar loan from the bank okay now we got to take you in cops also charged john louis with criminal possession of stolen property because they said he was carrying the stolen cash still wrapped in the bank's money ban. I mean, you've done this before. You've done this and failed, but you should have an inkling of what won't work. Jean-Louis had been staying at a men's shelter on East 30th Street near First Ave in Kipps Bay. He was released from the Elmira Correctional Facility on July 19th after being sentenced to a year in prison on an attempted robbery conviction. According to court papers, this is not his first rodeo. Of course, I make light for entertainment purposes, but this is kind of tragic to be 72 years old on his way back into the system is definitely a cautionary tale for some of you young folks out there. Get out there and learn yourself something useful so even when you're going through your knucklehead phase, you don't have to return back to the same things that don't work. You don't want to be like this guy with nothing to show at 70 plus years old, but going back to prison with a belly full of shrimp fried rice. He's on parole until February. His first stint in prison was in 19 1999, when he was convicted of attempted robbery, attempted means you failed, and sentenced to serve five years in prison, he was released in 2004. His arraignment, he's an OG failed bank robber. His arraignment in Brooklyn Criminal Court on the bank robbery charges was pending Saturday. There you have it, kids. Joseph Jean-Louis serving Chinese food that early in the morning should be the equivalent of serving hard liquor before noon. Tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video.